week 20 monday a reading from the commentary of pope saint gregory the great on the book of job fighting without and fear within the saints are caught up in a war of troubles doing battle at the same time with the enemies who use force and the enemies who use persuasion against the former they hold up the shield of patience against the latter they cast the darts of doctrine with amazing skill they brace themselves for either type of warfare wisely schooling the foe within bravely facing the enemy without the former they teach and correct the latter they endure and suppress for while enduring they despise the enemy coming on to attack them with compassion they restore to health their sickly fellow citizens they resist the enemy to prevent him subverting others for the sickly they feel concern lest they utterly lose the life of righteousness let us look at the soldier of god's army as he does battle against both types of adversary the apostle says fighting without and fear within he lists the attacks that he endures from outside in danger from rivers danger from robbers danger from my own people danger from gentiles danger in the city danger in the wilderness danger at sea danger from false brethren let him add what darts he hurls at his foe in this war in toil and hardship through many a sleepless night in hunger and thirst often without food in cold and exposure but harassed as he is in so many contests let him describe how watchful a defense he employs to guard the camp he adds immediately and apart from other things there is the daily pressure upon me of my anxiety for all the churches he bravely takes the wars upon himself you see and compassionately spends himself in defending his neighbors he describes the evils that he suffers and appends the good things he dispenses let us ponder then how laborious it is at one and the same time to endure opposition from without and protect the weak within from without he suffers warfare as he is torn by floggings bound by chains within he endures fear as he is afraid his suffering may be an obstacle not to himself but to his disciples hence he writes to them in these words let no one be upset in these troubles of mine for you know yourselves that i have been appointed for this purpose it was the downfall of others that he was afraid of in his own sufferings afraid that while his disciples realized he was being scourged for the faith they might refuse to profess themselves to be of the faith what measureless love was in his heart he despises his own suffering and is concerned lest his followers should suffer any perverse mental persuasion he thinks nothing of the wounds of his own body and heals the inner wounds in others it is characteristic of the just that in the midst of their own pain and distress they do not abandon concern for others good 
and when they grieve for themselves while enduring opposition they foresee and teach what is needful for others they are like great doctors struck down by sickness they endure the smart of their own wounds and offer healing medicines to others